this is Autobus Graph Analytics and Algorithms video series, you may have seen the previous episodes of some introductions. In this and the upcoming videos, we will dig into specific algorithms. We begin with degree centrality. It's probably the most simple graph algorithm. Degree of node simply refers to the number of edges attached to the node. In this graph, node represents user, edge represents their friendship. Friendship is a bilateral equal relationship, so the edges are undirected. We could calculate degree of each user just by counting the edges. Degree centrality algorithm uses degree of node as score to measure the centrality or importance of node. Node with higher degree has higher centrality. And obviously, this user with degree of 5 is the most important user if measured in this way. Let's explore some other cases. Node still represents user, and edge represents relationship of subscription. The graph is directed now because subscription is definitely a one-way relationship. This brings the subdivision of degree, in-degree and out-degree. As the name reveals, in-degree or out-degree is the number of inbound or outbound edges attached to a node. So for each user, we count its in-degree and out-degree separately and we find this green user wins for having the most subscribers, and the yellow user gives the most subscriptions out. What if we orientate to the quality of subscription? We not only concern about the number of subscribers, also how active they are. Let's say in some way we can evaluate this activeness and give each subscription a value of score, which in graph theory we call edge weight. When we calculate the degree with edge weight, it's what we call weighted degree. In this graph, we calculate the weighted in degree of each node. We shall know who owns the most valuable subscriptions. And it turns out to be this blue user with score of three. As we said, degree centrality is very fundamental. It's an independent algorithm, and you will find it's frequently used as part of some advanced algorithms too. Let's jump into the demo. We are going to use GitHub social network dataset. Nodes are of schema named developer, and there are 37,700 developers. Each node has two properties, username and type. Type indicates the user as a web developer or a machine learning developer. Edges between developers are the follow relationships. There are 289,003 such edges in total. And we give each edge a property called value, which will be used as weight of edge. This is Altipa Manager. You can access it through Altipa Cloud. The graph selected here is GitHub Social. It has node schema user and edge schema follow. The two default schemas were created by system, but we're not using them. To be more specific, we will post some questions and try to answer them with the degree centrality algorithm. First, degree of certain users and particularly users with UUID 55 and 56. UUID is the unique identification of nodes in Altipa graph. Let's write the UQL. Start with command algo and put the algorithm name in it. In the parameters, we write UUIDs 55 and 56. Define the results as alias named D and return it. Run the UQL and we get the results immediately. User 55 has degree of 3, means that he or she has only 3 direct connections, that's very few, and user 56 has 88 connections. Very good, what's our next question? Top 10 users who have the most followers. We need to modify the UQL. All users are considered now, so we remove UUIDs. Instead, regulate add direction as in to count only followers, and we put order desk and limit 10, so the results are sorted and filtered. 
run it and we get the top 10 users with the most followers, we can see a big difference between the top user and the second user. It drops from 7,000 something to 2,000 something. And the top user has nearly 10 times followers than the last user. If you are interested in the detailed information of these 10 users, we can first modify the UQL to give you that. First, set the algorithm results as data string. Then the alias of the results can be used in the find notes command as filtering condition. Here it is, and interestingly, we discover that all the top 10 popular users are web developers. Next question, top 10 users who have the most valued followers. Here comes the weighted degree for all the edges of follow. A value has been given to them. If we take 10 edges out to check, the value is a number between 0 to 5. Let's open another panel so we could compare the results. Switch back to the previous results, the unweighted top 10 users, and we will run the command on the right window. This question is very similar to the previous one. So I go back to this command and we need to specify the add property to be used as weight. Is it different from the top 10 we calculated before? Yes, a machine learning developer beats the Thames web developer and enters into the list. Turn to our next question. How many users have followers more than 500? If we set 500 followers as the minimum requirements to be called as KOL, we want to know how many KOLs we have. Let's clean the window first and modify the UQL. Keep the direction and the parameter. And I use a where clause to only keep the results whose degree is more than 500. In the return class, I used a count function to return the number of results. It's 22 people. Remember that we have over 37,000 developers in total. It's a very small portion. Last interesting question. How many users are isolated? Isolated means that user has no connection, has no follower, and doesn't follow anybody. To check this, we just need to remove the direction parameter in this UQL and change this condition to equal to zero. Let's see, it's only two people. That's not too bad. The majority of users in the network are connected with others. Okay, that's all the questions we prepared. Let's go back to the presentation. This is all the questions and UQLs we just presented in the demo. And these are the resources for you to learn more. Sign up for Outback Cloud. You could try out the things I just did in the demo. It's a very convenient tool whether you want to play around, do testing, or put something into production. And we offer many technical documentations on outback.com. Feel free to check it out. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and you will learn more graph algorithms with concrete demos in the future.